Hip-hop since 1987.com. Seven Brian, the director here, and we're here with Mario Beats. What's, going What's up, on? Mario? What's going on? How you doing? All right, man. So, uh, give us a rundown. Tell the people who you are. I'm Mario Beats, aka Alaska's Most Wanted, born and raised Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, I go to Clark Atlanta University, and I've been in Atlanta three years, and I just uh, music producer. Okay, okay. Um, how'd you get into producing? Uh, my daddy actually he was a party promoter now because he was born over in Cascade area and everything like that. So he was down here doing his thing, the party promotion stuff, and he had started. Uh, he started doing producing and managing uh, groups and whatnot. And I just remember him when I was younger. He would tell me, show me flyers, and like tell me stories about him. And at the time when they did the little party promotion, like the group, Little John was their DJ that I always went to and stuff. So he would tell me stories about him, Little John, and stuff like that, and just all the stories about being in the studio. And I was always interested in music. And eventually, at first, I started rapping. But everyone in my school, they started making fun of me. It was like, oh, your music's ass. Like, it's trash. Like, what are you doing? So I had stopped. And then towards the end of my senior year, my dad was like, why don't you just, why don't you make beats instead? It's you be low key, still could get more money long term and everything. And I started doing it. And then my boys, they started liking it. And then I started getting like $25, $50 dollars for a beat. And I was like, this is, maybe I could do this. So. All right. Um, who's some of the artists that um, you produce for? I produced for the first one out the gate was Migos. And then I worked with, uh, Skipper the Flipper, Day Day, Chavis Porter. I did one with this uh, Oakland artist Raven Justice, him and Keisha Cole. And then I did uh, Rollo, they traded. And did I say Schooly? They said Schooly. I got me and Schooly got a lot of stuff. And then that, that's El and Bow Wow. Me and Bow Wow got a lot of stuff too. Okay, so you said you go to Clark Atlanta University. Yeah. So um, you've been going to school here. Um, Tell us, tell us what you think about, uh, you know, uh, it's from the likes of uh, Metro Boomer. You know, he went to Morehouse and yeah. he dropped out to pursue producing. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Do you feel like it's worth it to stay in school or just leave school and grind? Well, the way I, the, the first, the one of the main reasons why I came to Clark was because Metro went to Morehouse. Because I told myself when I started making music, I was like, I always told myself no matter what I do, I, I had the mindset of, if you want to do something, you need to find one person that's doing that's where you that's where you want to be at and emulate them so that's my whole plan for the beginning was i needed to take the same steps metro did because i see where he's at and i found the same potential as him so that's why i chose clark and then when i got a clark and i'm getting the migos placement i thought the same thing was gonna happen to me i was like oh man it's it's out here i'm about to blow up i can just drop out and say forget school i'm about to get paid but it just all i feel depends on the person's situation because with my situation I'm three years into it already, so there's no point in me just dropping out now because I already owe all that money. I'm not a millionaire, nothing yet. So if I was to get some big time, like six, seven figure deal, then I probably would drop out. But that's like, even then, it's kind of like, I just want to finish at this point just to get a degree for my parents and for my family at this point. Okay. All right, tell us about um some, some hardware or VSTs you might use. The main one I use is, of course I use FL. And then the main one I use though is, um. I use an Omnisphere and I do a, a lot. I do a lot of sampling. I have to find samples and chop them up and do all that. That's why I started off uh, sampling at first. So that's when I always I love sampling. Okay, I definitely got to ask you about that. Is uh, as far as samples, um, you know, we in Atlanta. Yeah. You know, every everybody kind of likes a certain type of beat. Um, 808 heavy. How yeah. would you say your your style fits? As far as um, do you prefer sampling or do you prefer going with the Atlanta style, which is a lot of 808 heavy? Well, the way I feel is just do whatever whatever sounds good to you. And what I've always said from the beginning is I want to bring sampling with the whole 808 trap sound. So anything I do, any samples, I always put 808s. So I always put all the trap snares, hi-hats, I do all that. I'll just go find an old soul sample, just any type of sample, and flip it to a point where it sounds kind of darkish or somewhat melodic and it sounds kind of like kind of like Atlanta-ish, I guess, and just put some of that, that touch on it. Okay. Um, if you could work with any artist in the game right now, who would that? Who would it be? Future and uh, Lucci. Okay, okay. Future yeah. and Lucci. Um, Lucci. Um, have you had uh, any opportunities? Have you sent any beats to him? So I tried to send some stuff to Future, but I don't really know like how. He, I know he got so many people just around him. So, and Lucci, I don't know any. Like I don't know anyone that knows Lucci at all. But I just feel like he he has something special. So. Okay. Okay. Um, in three years, man, where where do you see Mario beats? In three years, shit further than I am now so I mean in 
three years, I just want to be, of course, I want to be graduated from college eventually. And then I want to um, go ahead and have a deal under my belt signed to somebody. And then just working on building my brand, my Alaska's very Alaska's most wanted brand, and just building myself up as a producer and just an overall, like I said, brand. Okay, it seems like nowadays, um, producers who have a certain or a set sound, I mean, they're kind of here today and gone tomorrow. Yeah. They, they kind of aren't really having to run. Um, is your style versatile, or would you say you have basically like a set sound? Oh no, I have beats. I have sample beats. I have West Coast beats. Just for example, like the one with Raven Justice and Keisha Cole. That's the Totally, it's a West Coast, Oakland, like California is, that's the type of beat it is. It's a West Coast beat. But then I have a song with Day Day that sounds like Trappish. And then I have a song, me and Quez got a song actually, and it sounds more like on the, of a, like a Drake, like um, one of like the Drake, one of the Drake records, you know, the popish records mm -hmm. that he has. It's almost that type of feel. So I have everything for any type of genre. It's just that we're in Atlanta and I'm based in Atlanta. So that's the main sound that I have to bring out for people. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know um, you're still you still consider yourself to be up and coming. Yeah. But there's a lot of young producers out there who have never got any type of placement. Yeah. Um, please um, talk to our cameras and give our viewers any advice. My main advice is study, 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 and pay attention. Cause my main thing I find people, cause like you said, like I'm up and coming, but I still I still have people like DM me talking about, oh hey, can you help me out? How you do this? How you do that? And the main thing I tell them is like, first you gotta just pray about it, cause if it's meant to happen, it's, it's gonna happen at the end of the day. And then two, just you gotta be consistent with it and really want it. Cause a lot of times the way I get get things done is I'll sit on my phone all day till like four or five in the morning, just on Twitter, Instagram, creeping on people. I'll be emailing people every Monday. Every Monday I wake up and I email either whether it's A and R's managers, B emails, anything. I send out a new pack of beats every single Monday so that if even if I'm not getting nothing play, at least they're gonna see my name in the email. So that's that's gonna put a, a name in the head so they're gonna wonder damn who is this guy and he's gotta be consistent with it because that's the only way it's gonna happen okay if um if anybody wants to contact you for beats uh where can they reach you at uh instagram or twitter at i am mario beats they're both they're both the same okay